Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the reserve lists in terms of dual lands, power 9, and so on. Higher end reserve lists outperforming the stock market, which it has in the last month and a half. So this is something that I thought was quite interesting. The underground sea is again buy list over $600, which is crazy. Now, the, I've seen it a few times, and it's only been recently where the underground sea hits 620 Right now, as of the moment of this recording, it is $600 buy list, which is very high. But now, one thing to remember is whenever the underground sea was very high, the Black Lotus was relatively low at $10,000. So last time the underground sea was at 620 you had the Black Lotus being at $10,000. Now the Black Lotus is at $12,600 buy list. So the entire market has gone up. So instead of just having one card, um, even though it's a very desirable card, Underground Sea carry the whole market, everything's gone up. I think Tropical Island is more expensive than Volcanic Island. It's very interesting. Volcanic Island is one of those cards that always seems to be very volatile. And you look at, um, in terms of, you look at how much money um, Magic cards have done. And it's not just Magic cards, it's Pokemon cards. If you guys have all arts, which I pulled a ton of, and I think my girlfriend and I will probably pull some more. Uh, we have a ton of Fusion Strike. Um, it is a very good time to open Pokemon packs right now to hunt. Because the cards you're hunting are... Uh, for instance, the Moonbrion is no longer a $400, $500 card. It's an $800, $900. Probably going to hit a $1,000 card. So the card market, some specific parts of the card market. Now, I looked into my Charizards, and they've gone, you know, for the most part, down, right? Um, my KFC Charizard, right? <laughs> it's kind of an interesting Charizard. Um, I would say that in terms of money... Uh, yeah, it is quite fascinating um, how much money is being, you know, pumped into the card market right now. And maybe it's because the stock market as an investment isn't doing. So if you already have, and this is what I would say, and this is what I've always said. Um, supposedly other people have said this previously, but I, I highly doubt it. Um, this is what I've always believed that if you have a very strong card market, it's probably because people are diversifying their investments. And I do believe some magic cards are investable. Reserve list, very high end. Um, you're not really too worried that like these cards are not going to sell. There's always going to be demand in EDH, right? Uh, EDH is always going to be very interesting um, in terms of, of where it's heading. It, it looks like it's heading... And new players, whenever you have new players, of course, the commander decks don't have the dual lands available. So talking about uh, magic cards and where I see them. And I would say if you are fully, if, if you have already a lot of money into stocks, you have a home paid off like myself. It's uh, almost a $600,000 home paid off. You got your Lexus sport model paid off. You got stuff paid off. Um, then you might, you got stuff paid off, you have the traditional investments, or there are maybe a very good reason that you don't want to buy. For instance, Harris County is taxing the bejesus out of people because it is broke. Harris County is Houston. The city of Houston, according to our mayor, is massively in the negative. So do you really want to buy a piece of real estate and then have to pay higher property taxes? Like every year, they racket up the property tax. Um, is that something that you can do? Can you do the maintenance on the real estate? There, there's a lot of, you know, when you watch these seminars and so on, they make it seem like, oh, it's so easy to own real estate. No, you have a lot of upkeep costs, a lot of maintenance costs, a lot of overall cost um, for these places. And uh, in all seriousness, um, maybe not everyone is me meant to be a landlord, right? Not meant anyway, everyone is meant to... Um, own a business not everyone's meant to be an employer and that's just kind of the nature of the business and the nature of the beast so when you talk about um something like 
magic cards, it might have more appeal to you than being a landlord for infinite amount of reasons that I don't know. I would still say that stocks and bonds, you got to be heavy on those, even if they go up and down. They go up and down, you know, it's, but if instead of crypto, I would actually say magic cards as a alternative. So moving away from real estate and traditional investments like stocks and bonds, I would say magic cards as a alternative investment isn't as bad as I initially thought it was. And actually, it's probably good. Um, mainly because it is very easy to store. It's kind of like artwork or sculptors, crypto, got the MetaMask, got hackers, right? It's, it's hard, like, it's hard to imagine, um, uh, magic cards being a worse investment than crypto. Now you guys might be, oh, well, look at Bitcoin, look at Bitcoin. Um, crypto is not just Bitcoin. Crypto is NFTs. It is FTX. It's like where you put your Bitcoin. It's, there's a lot of dangerous things in crypto that simply don't do not exist in magic cards now of course magic cards are, you can get stolen you could get uh flooded it can be damaged a kid can come and smash smash it and rip it your dog can bite it there are other risks inherent to magic cards that are not inherent to crypto but for me personally i'd much rather have a million dollars in magic cards and a million dollars in crypto just because i understand magic cards a lot better it's easy for me to say this now because it was much harder for me to say it before because magic cards are up. Pokemon cards are up. I mean, I thought, what was it? Moonbrion's a thousand dollar card almost. I bought my Moonbrion uh, from pulling, you know, it's at the time $5,000 a pack. I pulled a Moonbrion and Sylveon and Dragonite V. Like at, at the time, I never thought I could even come close to breaking even, but it looks like from the pulls that I kind of came close to breaking even. I had Sylveon, I, I think I had Glaceon or something, and so on. So in terms of investment opportunities, you know, th this is the last, re this is the like, hey, I've maxed out my 401k, I've maxed out everything I have, I just have some money left over, what should I buy? Uh, even then, I would say you can probably put more money uh, on on this type of stuff, but I don't know. It, it, it's an interesting investment because it's definitely done pretty well. Now, you, doesn't, you don't make money until you sell. Absolutely. No, I 100% agree with that fact. Um, but things are, when you have something like a buy list, you shouldn't really be, um, you shouldn't really be, too worried because a buy list they'll take 25 of each card and it's from a reputable source they're not going to back out of it uh their reputation is far more valuable than even a hundred thousand dollars right they do millions of dollars in sales they're not going to jeopardize their reputation for a few hundred thousand dollars anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below bye guys